miserable thieves. Killing me is one thing, but stealing my life's work? Idioti! It was my own fault. A foolish Giacomo. Curse my trusting soul. This means no traveler's rest. A place of rest for weary travelers, of course. I am Giacomo Altoiti, architect. Perhaps you have heard of me? No? Well, you would have if my workmen hadn't stabbed me in the back literally and run off with my design notebook and tools. So many survivors on this island have no home, no roots. I long to provide that for them. Safety is always the biggest concern. I can create that safety on a much smaller scale. The bastardi left me with nothing, but you're here. So there's hope. The innkeep saw workers a few days ago discussing a notebook of secrets. Suspicious, no? If you begin the hunt, I'll finish business here and follow.
Hmm. On the surface, we are still and quiet. But there is a struggle in the darkness below. The outcome? Unpredictable. Away with you, ghost. You'll scare away the fish. I remember you not, and care not to, even if I could. I offer you nothing, but you remain. I can give you a name, if that would help. Some have called me Jonas. There are other names, but they will not speak themselves. One is enough, I think. Only those who seek misery would ask such a thing. You should banish your misery like I have banished mine. If you do not, only terrible things can come of it. I do not see a hole in your head. Perhaps a hole in your mind. The stones to the north are useful to fill such holes. You can read them if you can find them. Replace your ghost with others. have nothing but irrelevant answers to forgotten questions. You will not find truth here. In memory of Sol Warren Ramanos Avila, bearer of the Eternal Torch, who served as Fraddle Sintens, all souls fading back, but he held steadfast against the darkness until the last. May his sacrifice be a lesson to all who come after.
and memory of Soul Warden Christina Krenkel, whose gaze never wavered. Her pursuit of humanity's best nature, her defiance of darkness, and her calm wisdom kept the flame of our hopes burning until the last. May her sacrifice be a lesson to all who come after her. This place is familiar. My feet remember what my mind does not. Have you found any new voices, hunted one? Ah, what were they? My mind itches. Yes, at that word. Perhaps this is where my ghost lives. That cave. Yes, inside it. Something that needs retrieving. Ghosts are loud here. This place remembers sorrow. My bones ah, rattled with it. You went into the cave. What did you find? What does anything do in a bear cave? Perhaps it was napping. Yet there is pain in the rent cloth. Shame, too. How odd. The voice of that ghost has faded, but there are yet others in the stones to the north. Go! I won't be long behind. Is that my notebook? Oh, grazie. And what are those Coglioni who stabbed me and stole it? The one who had it was corrupted. Ha-ha! <laughs> A fitting end to his greed and treachery. Now the work begins. The safety of a traveler's rest will welcome those weary from their journeys. My goal 
is for everyone on Eternum to have a home of their own. And to that end, take this for your own home. You're cunning and resourceful. I like that. But do you truly understand my work? Four walls, a roof, there's not a home. Safety, warmth, comfort. Now that's a home. It is sanctuary. A haven that beckons after a long day. It anchors you to the land. And spirit shrines can deposit you gently inside from anywhere on the island. To truly understand, you must purchase a home of your own. Friend, opportunity abounds here. Look around and you'll find prospects for coin. Once you have a home, use the furniture I've given you. Create your own space. Then return, for more work remains to be done.
in memory of Soul Warden Ray's Vita. The voted servant of the order, he took no pride, no ambition in our sacred duty. All that was asked, and much that was not, he gave willingly. By his example, did others embrace our greater purpose. May his sacrifice be a lesson to all. In memory of Soul Warden Constanza Zuberia, who gave all that was to be given. May her sacrifice be a lesson for those who come after. my own voice, faint but in chorus with the ghosts here, my hands on this stone, my memories given to the land and taken from my soul. A mercy, perhaps. It was corruption. It took their souls, those voices lost to time. It will take all of us before the sun sets on the world. You, sooner. If your voice cannot be silenced. But there are answers here. A path that leads where many have sought to go. Those who would stand against the corruption. You speak of that voice that assaults your mind. This path may be the only way to see it silenced. A valiant effort to stem the tide, perhaps or more likely to simply take a stand against the inevitable. There are no final answers here, nor anywhere, but it may yet be a reprieve for one who has been marked such as you. The voice you hear is not heard by all, and the power it pursues has become your burden to bear. Go on, then. Seek the strength of the Soul Wardens. Face the trial in the tomb of old warriors. It may be your only hope.
Gilgamesh, do solemnly bow under the radiance of the sun and the luminescence of the stars in the presence of the gods to serve as an honor, the blessed inheritor of the eternal fire. I vow to be both noble and true, to heed the divine voice, and to aid my people against all hardships and foes. I also swear on my bonded soul to ease the world's pain and to fulfill my sworn obligations regardless of the price. Yeah! <laughs> 
I am impressed. We will make history together. Well, imagine the kinds of people you run into on the roads around here. But you're looking a little haggard, if you don't mind me saying so. Had an eventful journey, have you? Thought I heard scuffling in those ruins. I was thinking there might be some treasure in there. But you don't look like you found something. You look like you're still searching. Now that you mention it, there was an old codger a few paces back. They've got a proper city that direction. I'll be going back soon enough. But if you want to go after this geezer, go that way and just ask around town. Welcome to Oxborough, traveler. I hope you've brought coin to spend and goods to trade. We're always open for business. Whatever services you seek, you will find in Oxborough. I guarantee you that. All types for hire. Uh, what manner of person do you seek? I have to say, it is a very specific person. And frankly, one that no one has ever asked for. <laughs> You're the first. But I did see him not long ago. He's quite, uh, balmy, you know? And I'm not sure if he's for hire. Constable Messia often humors him with conversation. Ask her about him. 